this is uh, the first e-bike I ever made and uh, the stealth bike I call it at the time so it's uh, my old 1991 racing bike which I, to which I fitted uh, just an internally geared hub motor off a 20 inch wheel and that's strung to a 28 inch uh, 700c wheel to give me a higher RPMs uh, so it's a high speed hub off a shopping bike effectively um, literally I, I wasn't so much interested in the power so this is not very good for the hills uh, what I wanted or the torque um, what I wanted was a top speed this is a land cruiser for, for flats okay um, the controller is just the standard uh, 350 watt um, 10 pound on eBay Chinese controller uh, it happens to be a 36 volt a 36 48 volt and it's just uh, got a switch here so um, all that does uh, on the battery is it takes a tap of the 48 and the FETs run at the 60 volts that using my standard pack which fits in the frame on a little bracket uh, and a stabilizing bracket and that just bungees in that's that's pretty secure um, it means I can transfer that pack around because I've got two of those packs and I've also got the, the Leckie Tandem as well so the whole idea was I had a modular battery that I could use for, for all my bikes um, in terms of controls uh, the throttle I've got one on each side under here so you can if you're on the, uh, the drops you can use your finger if you're on the hoods you can use finger end and then the brake switch again one on each side is a micro switch that's in the hood now it's just the switch bent to shape um, I would have soldered it if I'd have uh, had the skills at the time but I did this a few years ago and we develop our skills as we go along and then I've got a third throttle button which is on the uh, the triathlon bars so that's just the same so that's a on off throttle button um, and then the uh, the speed control so I've got the one two three uh, speed control so that's your mode switches you get on the controller so low medium high and then on the other side and within the gubbins of the handle there's uh, some resistors set up so I have um, zero which is minimum that's middle position then I've got an on which goes through another uh, resistor or bypasses one resistor and then I've got full which is no resistors so you can control the, the speed uh, six ways um, for the purposes of what I'm doing um, shortly with this uh, they're going on full speed so uh, the idea of the test is that I've got a, um, a seven and a half mile course which is uh, mostly flat and will have uh, one 10% uh, hill in it um, and the target speed is 25 miles an hour and I want to compare this which is uh, um, going to be struggling to do that average speed um, versus the Alti bike which will easily do that average speed but this is about watt hours so I'm expecting this to be quite efficient um, and the Alti bike to be quite greedy so I'm going to compare those results uh, once I've charged the battery um, on this I've done both the runs they are both the same um, within three seconds uh, over uh, nearly 20 minutes so they are as comparative as I can possibly get it um, so once that battery's once the battery's recharge I shall uh, go through the results <laughs> 